The Pioneer Patriots playing host to Rippin in the quarterfinals on a foggy, foggy night throughout the entire section. First quarter, Pioneer with possession. Jack Carner gets the handoff, finds a hole, and Jack goes 42 yards. The junior running back is relentless, and that big pickup sets up this play. Path QB AJ Lucero heaves one deep in the miss to Hector Casas in stride, and Casas takes it to La Casa. Pioneer is first on the board. Later on in the first, some great blocking from these Rippin lineman paves the way for Caleb Johnson who goes up the gut and Caleb will not be stopped on his way to the end zone 63 yards to pay dirt we are tied at seven second quarter the Pats are just four yards out when Carner gets a handoff and stays hungry 13-7 Pioneer back on top but not for long as Adam Barrera launches a missile to the six foot four receiver Nolan Young and Nolan hauls it in Rippin goes on top 14-13 and that is not the last we're going to see from Nolan with the half winding down. Barrera too young. How those two see through the fog, I do not know, but it is working. We will see Young on the basketball court come winter season. 2013, Rippin leads it at the half, but Pioneer comes out swinging in the second. Lucero throws to Hector Casas to the far sideline, and Casas sheds three tackles on his way in for six. Pats not going away quietly. We are tied at 20. Still in the third, Barrera hands it off to Caleb Johnston. Caleb would finish the night with 131 yards on the ground. That's his second touchdown of the night, and it gives Rippin the lead. Then the Rippin defense finishes this game off. Ryan Lefebvre comes up with one of the Indians' three interceptions on the night. When it was all said and done, Rippin takes home the 19-point win. The Indians advance to the semis, where they will face league opponent Escalon. I mean, this win doesn't matter right now. We're just focused on Escalon. We know we want them so bad. We knew it at the beginning of playoffs. Like, we want to get revenge.